We love innovations. Nowadays, moon landing rockets and robots are pretty much viral topic. So I decided to make a moon rover science project. So the first question is, how this robot can detect water under the surface? Well, I will tell you about this at the end. If you are a busy person and don't have that much of time, then this video is not for you. If you still want to watch this video, so guys, welcome to Tech Boys Toys. This video is sponsored by Next PCB. We will talk about this later in this video. It has multiple sensors like humidity, temperature, and distance sensor, etc. It has MPU 6050 sensor module, which is a complete six axis motion tracking device. It can detect the motion and prevent the robot from falling off. This solar panel charges the battery in the presence of light and works continuously. Okay guys, enough about talking and let's start the video. We will use our 3D printer for making all the parts because it's hard to build all these parts manually. We need printed parts and many servos and one high torque servo for the arm base because the arm is a little bit heavier for small servos, so we need a bigger one. Guys, now follow my procedure step by step. Now it's time to make the PCB board, so I took my breakfast and got ready for the circuit making work. I needed so many parts to solder on this little board, but at the end of the day, I was tired and getting frustrated making all the connections. Batter to doing this hard work, I designed this circuit and downloaded the Garber file, then I uploaded it on NextPCB. At first I choose all my requirements and made my order on NextPCB. They took one day to review this circuit. If I made any mistake on my design, they counter all the errors and then start the PCB processing. Although this is an international order, but they send me the product as soon as possible. I always wonder about their PCB quality and black is my favorite, so it's a black one. 
Now we need to solder all the parts one by one. I am going to use ESP32 Dev Kit version 1 because it has multiple I.O. pins. You may be thinking that there are so many boards available on the market, so what's the big deal? My friend, I was trying the Node MCU at first, but this board has a limited number of pins. But I need more pins, so I'm working with ESP32. You will have all the links in the description. So guys, our board is ready now, and it's time to programming. We will use the Blink IoT platform for controlling this robot. If you want the program, then I will share the programming in a separate video, but you can find all the coding links in the description. Guys, it's time to make the connections. I wrote all the connection names on the board for your easy work, so connect all the wires by following this names. Okay guys, our project is ready now. You can see this rover drills on the surface by moving the arm at appropriate position and rotates the sensor 180 degrees, then find the water. If the sensor sends the water, then it sends the signal on controller device. We need to test it on the moon surface also, but all I need to go the moon at first through Isro Chandrian to test this model robot. If it's possible, then maybe we will test it on moon surface too. I am joking guys. Thanks for watching the full video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.